Ladies and gentlemen, welcome or welcome back to Brotato. Today I will be playing the Doctor character, which I find very interesting. You get plus 200% attack speed with medical weapons. So that would be the scissor, the medical gun, and I think the round saw as well. I think that goes under the medical weapons category as well. You also get plus 5 HP regeneration and HP regeneration is doubled. Plus 5 harvesting, though you do get minus 100% attack speed and armor modifications are reduced by 50%. So with the doctor character for today, I will only be using medical guns, which I haven't really been using like properly yet. So I'm excited to try and win around with that. Also, we will be playing in Danger 3 a difficulty. Now, this video will be a bit different to what I have done in the past. Usually, I play and then I live commentate. However, in this one, I was just casually playing, testing stuff, and the round actually went really well. So, I decided to use it for the video. So, in this one, I'll be commentating over the footage. I would greatly appreciate it if you could let me know which way you prefer down in the comments. Live commentary or commentating over the footage. But that's enough talk. Let's get right into it. This isn't the round, by the way. This is just me having something in the background. <laughs> Let's get to the actual round where the interesting stuff happens. All right, so we're starting the run here in wave one. Not much to see here. We have the medical gun. We're doing 10 damage per shot. So currently it is one shot, one kill. We already have our first level up here. And with just three seconds remaining, we have the round completed. We took some damage there, but that is of course fine. Now on this level up, I am re-rolling a bit, which I probably shouldn't have done, but I end up taking range damage here because we do have a ranged weapon, so that'll benefit us eventually. And I take the coffee here to get more attack speed because the more attack speed you have, the more damage you'll do because the more shots you'll actually get. We get our second medical gun there as well. And then I run out of money, unfortunately. However, I do lock the butterfly to get extra lifesteal because we're not doing any elemental damage. I might as well get as much lifesteal as I possibly can. In this run, I will focus on getting max health, health regeneration, and also lifesteal if it's available without any, like, uh, without any compromise, essentially. But here we go. Wave 2 is now complete. So close to leveling up to level 3, however, uh, not there yet. Max health, I take that. I take our third medical gun there. And then I realize that I ran out of money and can't take the butterfly, unfortunately. Keep rolling, reroll, re uh, re rolling a couple of bits here, and boom, we get our fourth medical gun. And we proceed to wave 3. And a 3, and a 2, and a 1, and we get an extra loot crate there as well. That's always nice. We get a baby elephant. I will definitely take that, and I believe I take max health here. Yep, and then I take the range because we have guns. The more range we have, the better. Now I take the butterfly. Uh, I'm thinking about the scope, but I'm not going to take it. Alien worm. I'm going to take it because I am not really going to heal a lot from consumables, which you will see throughout the run. Definitely want the coupon and the small magazine, even though it is less damage. We do actually go ahead and get uh, range damage and also attack speed, which will compensate for the damage. And I think we will get more out of that. And wave four is now complete. Still no uh, challenge whatsoever. Uh, here, I believe, yep, I take attack speed because again, the more attack speed you have, the more damage you do. And that was basically it. That was a very quick shopping session. Moving on to wave five. All right, so more enemies are starting to slowly spawn, but with four medical guns, we're not doing too bad here. We're still eliminating them pretty quick. Can we reach another, we reached another level? That is perfect. And I go for attack speed again, and I believe I, yep, I take the dodge. Of course, I always take dodge. And there we go, we got our first tier 2 medical gun. Very, very handy. I keep re-rolling, hoping to get something cool. I'm not really happy with anything that I see, except for the sixth and final medical gun. And we get another one, so we can get another tier 2 after wave 6. So now we have 6 medical guns in total, and we are still annihilating the enemy. However, no big... Enemies have spawned in just yet. We're still dealing with the small ones that basically almost at, at times uh, at least uh, get, get uh, one shot. Uh, even, even though they're, they're bunching up a little bit, they're still being annihilated and dealt with pretty quickly. But yeah, as you can see, they are definitely starting to spawn a little bit more here. But there we go. Wave 6 has been completed. And I think... I actually reroll here. Wow, I go for the attack speed instead of the extra damage. Don't know if I would, if I would have done that today. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting watching a match from this perspective. I lock the butterfly because, again, life steal. I want to be able to heal as quickly and as much as possible. So a little bit of damage there, but nothing 
that, like nothing that has any meaning whatsoever. But they are starting to buy a bunch up a little bit, starting to take a little bit more damage there. I was in the center a little bit. Uh, not interested in that. Attack speed like that, I cannot say no to that. I get the butterfly, get extra HP regeneration as well, and another butterfly. So now we have six. Nope, sorry, that's me. Can't can't read. Eight percent extra life steal. I keep re-rolling, hoping to get something cool. I get the I get the glasses later. I lock them down. Just to get some extra uh, range, and now the big guys are spawning in. When you focus on just one big guy at a time, they get annihilated pretty quickly. But when you st start having multiple around you, and the medical guns start to uh, go in different directions, then all of a sudden they need quite a few more shots to go down. But so far, ow, that, that actually did quite a bit of damage. But as you can see, as we take damage, we heal so fast. Which is what we will be relying on. Lifesteal and health regeneration. We need to get that up a lot. Uh, and as well, dodge will help, of course. But yeah, health regeneration, because when we take damage, and max health as well. Max health and health regeneration, those two are going to work hand in hand. Which you will see later on. But yeah, they're starting already. Here, I think I was starting to get a little bit nervous. Because I was like, okay, it's going well, but oh dear, oh no. Uh, starting to take hits here. All right, so I took the extra uh, uh, attack speed and I take the statue. Despite the minus 10% speed, I get the uh, plus 40% attack damage. All right, so I am in a little bit of trouble here, as you can see, but there's so much money out there, I really want to go and grab it. But I am very, very, very slow, and I am taking damage. I am taking damage, but I can afford to take the damage because the HP regeneration recovers pretty quickly. Uh, moving up and down here, avoiding the big guys when they charge. That's the key thing at this point in time. Uh, attacking quicker when standing still, of course. And that is wave nine completed. Again, a little bit nerve-wracking at this stage. Let's move on. I think I take the speed and I get the extra HP regeneration. Again, the more we have that, the better. We have four medical guns in total. Never mind. Five, six. A tier, <laughs> tier two medical guns and we have a tier three now. Reroll a couple of times and I'm considering the monkey and I am taking the monkey as well. And now we are on to wave 10. And trying to stand still yet again, hopefully utilizing that statue as much as possible. And so far, I'm getting them somewhat before they can get to me. But I do get here a hit here as well. But as you can see, I recharge that health very, very fast. And also, it would help if I probably have more range. I think I take a couple of extra range upgrades because the farther range I have from the beginning of the of the wave. The sooner I'll begin shooting towards enemies that are towards the, the, the corners uh, or the boundaries. Here you can see that I get completely overwhelmed and I can't, can't really stand still without taking a lot of damage. So I start having to move around with my extremely slow walking speed as you can see here. It is, uh, yeah. It <laughs> I'm slowly getting overwhelmed, like, my speed is just horrible. I can just about keep up, and it is a bit, it's a bit nervous. I recycle that, I re-roll, and I get the 3% extra dodge. Re-roll, and we get another tier 3 medical gun. That is incredible. And then I got another statue. I got another statue for extra percent speed. I get the extra coupon. And another medical gun upgrade. This is exactly what we needed. We need these medical guns to be upgraded. Now, we have these ribcage enemies, which I just do not like one bit. They get faster and faster the more damage you do to them. At least that is... That's not something I've read. That's just something I've observed. They're starting out slow, and then the more you, you hit them, or I suppose the lower health they, they have, the faster they charge towards you, which is not helpful in this situation. But with two statues now, I am standing completely still as much as possible. I took some damage there, but again, I recharge it very quickly. And then I have to move. Now I have to move. What? I, I want the coins anyway. I want. I need to move, and then I'm also getting the coins. We have a loot box over there to the right. That is wonderful. And here we go. Now I just have to start trying to avoid as much as possible the shots and... Uh, especially the ribcage ones. I do go below half health here, but as you can see, I am recharging the health fairly quickly at this point, which is not bad. I get the coffee because attack speed and even more attack speed and a medical gun tier 2. So now we have four tier 3 medical guns. I get the medal. 
I get the Blood Leech as well, and I cannot reroll. We're moving on to wave 12. And this is just a ton more enemies. So this is going to be exciting to see if I'm going to get overwhelmed here. Uh, already, they're getting quite close, but there's the low level uh, aliens coming at me so far, which is fine. And so far they haven't been able to touch me, but there we go. They just got uh, broke through my defensive lines and I have to start walking around the edges doing damage, as much damage as I can. As you can see, I am taking quite a bit of damage when I do get hit. But again, the, the, the healing, the healing is actually doing pretty well. I can walk through that and take quite a few hits. And yet I can I can still like manage to get through to the other side so I can I can afford to take a couple of risks here or there or rather I moves that I have to do to to get to the other side. There I got down to 20 health, but boom, just after three seconds I'm up to 43 again. And that is wave 12 completed. So we are past the halfway mark and I get attack speed again. Of course, maybe I get I, I reroll. I don't remember this. I get do I get range damage? I get range damage. Okay, I don't re I didn't remember that. Extra medical guns, and now we have five tier threes. I'm really considering the chapels because the HP regeneration and the AD range. However, the speed is capped. I'm not happy about that. And here we get our first medical gun tier four. Very, very good, so I'll keep upgrading those. We need them as high level as possible. Locking the Cyclops Worm, because that is extra damage, and my plan is to take the Shackle, so I can afford to lose 12 range, because I'll get the plus 80 very soon. And I'm getting the Alien Worm as well, because, again, I'm not taking that many consumables. I'd rather have the HP regeneration. So now we're on wave 13, and things are starting to get really interesting. However, we are through the halfway mark, and we did defeat the wave uh, 12. Um, and we did defeat the wave 12 wave, I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> so my hopes are there. I have a slight amount of hope here that this is potentially going to work. But as you can see, we have the enemies shooting out those two lines. They take quite a few hits now in order to die, especially the, the higher tier ones, like the, the ones shooting lines. But there we go, I got down to 20 health, 29. And I, I keep taking hits here and there, but again, I keep regenerating it. So even though I only have 44 uh, max health so far, we're actually doing pretty decent. We're on wave 13. And let's see, I reroll here and I think I take the damage. Yes, I take the damage. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the alien worm. Not going to get the shackles just yet. I want to try and see if I can potentially get my speed a little bit higher up uh, before I take the shackles. Get the white flag because that is less enemies, which is always nice. And now we're on the wave where those big guys spawn in that when you kill them spawn in four other guys, sorry, three other small guys that shoot uh, bullets randomly, which is quite annoying to deal with. Plus that just did 10 damage to me just by getting hit once of those. So if I got hit, oh, that, sorry, 15 on that one. Yikes. So if I just get hit like four times-ish, that, then that's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> pretty bad, but still, wave 14, we're doing pretty decent at this rate. Gathering all the coins, or as many of the coins as I possibly can, because I want to buy stuff. We get extra uh, two loot crates here, and just like that, wave 14 is completed without too much hassle. Recycling that, and Wandering Bot, I'm so happy I take that immediately, slows down enemies around you. Another medical gun, definitely upgrade that. Do another re-roll. Not taking the scope, I don't want less attack damage. I definitely take that. And I was considering the ugly tooth here, but I don't want the minus speed. And I also uh, locked down the block leech. And oh boy, those guys spawned very close by, but we managed to eliminate pretty quickly. All right, things are getting a little bit tight here. As you can see, the medical guns are shooting as fast as possible. And the bot is definitely helping slowing down enemies so I can actually get to uh, eliminate them before they get too close. But I have to move. I have to move and it's getting too close. And I want all the coins. I think that might be the primary reason why I'm starting to move. Uh, <laughs> but with that, wave 15 is now complete again without too much hassle. So, and I get the exoskeleton, which I do take. I do get minus HP regeneration and minus 2% lifesteal, but I still take it for the extra benefits. And I also get the 9% dodge, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. And I don't remember when I actually take the shackles. I get the blood leech. 
I do a reroll, uh, and I de definitely get the adrenaline. I love getting that chance to heal one uh, five HP when uh, when actually doing a dodge. And here we go. We proceed to wave a sixteen, and here we have the brains that I like to call them, which. Uh, can become a real headache. Here I get scared. <laughs> I get very scared there's like four or five of those brains in there and they are buffing up the most dangerous enemies right there with the, with the horns. I just need to get hit like three times right after each other just like that almost uh, I think I got below 20 health there. And as you can see things are getting quite difficult. This is on wave 16 so now I'm a little bit scared. I'm doing a reroll and I'm getting the 9% uh, dodge. Tier 3 medical gun, definitely get that. So now we have no tier 2s, which is awesome. And we proceed to wave 17. And we have more of those rib cages, taking out as many of them as possible. And now the brains are coming in as well, buffing up the even more powerful and most annoying enemy there is. <laughs> Just when I need it. And boom, I almost lost pretty much half my, well, I did lose almost half my health there. And again and again. And things are starting to look not up, but it's looking it's looking complicated. However, with 15 seconds remaining, still max health, I do take a couple of hits, but again, I recharge health, that health back pretty quickly, but I'm not eliminating that many enemies. And again, I do take quite a few hits here. But three seconds remaining, I can afford the I, I can take the I can take the hits. And the wave is now complete. And I think at this point I probably get the shackles. Maybe. Yep, I'm getting the shackles. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to take it now. I'm going to lock down the glass cannon because that's 25% extra damage. Definitely want that medical gun tier 3. So now I need... To, my main goal here on wave 18 and 19 is just to get enough coins to get... Uh, or money. I don't know what those monies are. Are they coins? Are they crystals? What on earth are they? I don't know. But my main goal is to get enough so I can get those two. And I just got down to 18 HP with those guys. That's, um, yeah, things are moving fast here. These guys are moving very fast. A lot of them are red, which means they're buffed. A lot of brains there in the middle, protected by all the other guys, which is really annoying. So they keep buffing enemies. I don't like it whatsoever. Taking a lot of hits. I'm worried. I'm scared. I'm so close yet so far. Uh, it, it's scary. There we go. Got down to 21 HP, 17 HP. Very, very scared here and concentrating as much as possible, trying to keep alive. Look at all those bullets flying by as well, by the way. That that makes it even more stressful. I keep getting hit by them as well. But eventually, wave is completed and I lived. I get the range damage. Yep, can't say no to a tier 4 uh, on a level up. And I can't afford any of the stuff in the shop, so I'm not going to do a reroll. I'm going to save as much of the money as possible. And boom, we are on wave 19 where things are getting... Uh, yeah, it, it's getting close to the finish line. I try to stand still as much as possible and boom, can't stand still anymore because then they're going to attack me. So I start moving around the edges. We have the guys uh, making weird lace beams to the right and left, which I don't like whatsoever in a straight line, but that is fine. They can do that if they so desire. I just stick to the borders here, try and avoid as much as possible. Shooting as much as possible. Well, the character shoots for me, all I do is move. <laughs> I keep taking damage and I keep healing, so as long as I can keep that up, then that is great. 18 seconds remaining on wave 19. But look at all of those aliens right there just following my every move trying to go up here avoiding as many aliens as possible five seconds remaining though took a huge hit there huge hit as well two right after each other then three but we complete the wave and we have enough to get both items that we want no need to really do a reroll because <laughs> we're, we're just there and we go straight to wave 20 and we get this boss here which we start taking uh, doing a lot of damage on and as you can see, the the first tier, tier 1 attack, which I'm going to call it, the stage 1 attack, I should say, is actually fairly easy to avoid. However, when you do get hit, which I do believe that I will get in just a moment, yeah, it's very it's very hurtful, especially when it happens right after each other. This part was scary, because if I just got hit like twice or three times in a row, which could easily happen, then that would be very bad. However, the boss health is now less than half, 
and this one is fairly easy this circle all i have to do is try and be as close to the boss as possible so i can deliver as many hits as possible i could of course also try survive but i feel like that would just be asking for even more chaos and potential uh death moments so i'm not going to do that i'm trying to shoot the boss as much as possible uh, try to avoid being hit by those guys as much as possible and at this point I can't get close enough to the boss But then I get close enough to the boss again and I keep shooting and I keep shooting and boom Wave 20 has been won and we unlocked danger for Difficulty man that was some run we also unlocked the mech hit plus 10 HP Regeneration plus 2 HP regeneration every five seconds until the end of the wave that is exciting That's a new item that we can now buy in the shop and then we get the method But I can't pronounce that this character plus five percent damage when you take damage until the end of the wave, plus 10 max health, plus 20 HP regeneration, plus 8 armor, minus 100% damage. That is a very interesting character right there. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed this commentary style video uh, compared to my usual live commentary. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. But that's going to be it for this one. I really hope you have enjoyed. And until next time... Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.